Creative Maths brings you Maths made really clear with Dr Nick. Multiplying by multiples of 10. Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths. This video is part of a set of videos about multiplying and dividing. I will talk briefly about place value, then show examples and give you practice multiplying by multiples of 10, like 40 and 60. Place value. An understanding of place value is fundamental to working with numbers. We use a base 10 number system. This means that the place a digit is in affects what value it has. And the different places are powers of 10. The place furthest to the right is the ones. We can count up to 9 just using one column. But once we pass 9 we have no more digits. So we put a 1 in the 10s column to tell us we have a 10. And we need to put a 0 to make sure we know that the 1 is in the 10s place. Similarly, when we get to 99, we have no more digits, so we put a 1 in the hundreds column to tell us that we have 100, and we put two zeros to make sure we know that the 1 is in the hundreds place. The number 24060 has a 2 in the 10,000 column and a 4 in the 1,000 column, so we can see that it is 24,000. Then there is a 6 in the tens column, which means that we have 60 more. So the total is 24,060. I believe in the US you say 24,060. Multiplying by 10. 7 times 10 is equal to what? The number 7 is in the 1's column, so the number is 7. When we multiply by 10, we move the entire number up one place. So 7 1's becomes 7 10's. The zero is put in the ones place to show that there are no ones along with the seven tens. Seven times ten equals seventy. Seven times ten equals seventy. Ten times three is equal to thirty. Six times ten is equal to sixty. And ten times ten is equal to one hundred. Multiplying by a multiple of ten. Multiples of ten are ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, etc. Anything with a zero in the ones place is a multiple of 10. What is 3 times 40 equal to? 3 times 4 equals 12. This is a basic multiplication fact. From this, we can calculate 3 times 40. 40 is 4 times 10. So 3 times 40 is 3 times 4 times 10, which equals 12 times 10, which equals 120. 6 times 80. The basic fact is that 6 times 8 equals 48. From this, we can calculate 6 times 80. 80 is 8 times 10. So 6 times 80 equals 48 times 10, which equals 480. Here are some practice examples. Pause the video and try them before carrying on. 2 times 40 equals 80. 3 times 50 equals 150. 4 times 10 equals 40. 5 times 80 equals 400. 5 times 8 is 40 and then we multiply by 10 to get 400. 6 times 50 equals 300. 6 times 5 is 30 and then we multiply by 10 to get 300. Multiplying two multiples of 10. What is 30 times 40 equal to? Like last time, we will start with 3 times 4 equals 12. Now we multiply 30 times 40, which is 3 times 10 times 4 times 10. Now 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 times 10 times 10 equals 1200 or 1200. The zeros tell us how many times the number has been multiplied by 10 and moved one place to the left. Here are some practice examples. Pause the video and try them before carrying on. 20 times 30 equals 600. 30 times 60 equals 1,800. 40 times 10 equals 400. 50 times 80 equals 4,000. 5 times 8 is 40, and then we multiply by 10 and by another 10 to get 4,000. 60 times 50 equals 3,000. 6 times 5 is 30, then we multiply by 10 and by 10 again to get 3,000. This video covered multiplying by multiples of 10. 
Check in the description below for links to other videos and resources. This video was brought to you by Creative Maths. Please like it, subscribe and consider supporting our work by becoming a channel member. Help the channel grow and help me help more and more people like you. I am truly grateful for my channel members who help make these videos possible.